In the journey of life, we encounter various types of relationships. Some bring us joy, while others may bring us pain. One of the most challenging aspects of human connection is identifying fake friends. Fake friends are those who disguise themselves as allies, but ultimately betray our trust and hinder our spiritual growth. Drawing inspiration from the profound teachings of Buddhism, we will delve into the seven things that only fake friends do. By understanding these behaviors, we can cultivate genuine friendships and navigate our lives with wisdom and compassion. Step 1. Betrayal of Trust Fake friends betray your trust, causing deep emotional wounds. In Buddhism, trust is considered a fundamental pillar of any relationship. The Buddha taught that trust is built upon honesty, integrity, and reliability. When fake friends break this trust, they disrupt the harmony and balance in our lives. By recognizing the signs of betrayal, we can protect ourselves from further harm and seek solace in the teachings of Buddhism. Trust is the foundation of any meaningful relationship. It is a delicate bond that takes time and effort to build, but can be shattered in an instant. In the realm of friendships, trust holds immense importance as it forms the basis of mutual support and understanding. However, fake friends are notorious for betraying this trust, leaving behind a trail of broken hearts and shattered expectations. In Buddhism, trust is regarded as an essential element in fostering harmonious relationships. The Buddha taught that trust is built upon honesty, integrity, and reliability. Genuine friends are those who honor their commitments, keep their promises, and remain loyal even in challenging times. They create a safe space where we can be ourselves without fear of judgment or betrayal. Fake friends, on the other hand, lack the qualities necessary to uphold trust. They may deceive us with their words or actions, leading us to believe that they have our best interests at heart. However, when faced with difficult choices or personal gain, they prioritize their own needs above our trust and well-being. The betrayal of trust by fake friends can have profound emotional consequences. It leaves us feeling hurt, betrayed, and questioning our own judgment. We may find it challenging to open ourselves up to new friendships or develop a sense of vulnerability with others. The wounds inflicted by fake friends can take time to heal, but with the guidance of Buddhist teachings, we can find solace and learn valuable lessons from these experiences. Buddhism teaches us the importance of forgiveness and compassion in dealing with betrayal. Holding on to anger and resentment only perpetuates our suffering and hinders our spiritual growth. By cultivating a mindset of forgiveness, we can release ourselves from the burden of past betrayals and create space for genuine connections to enter our lives. Buddhism encourages self-reflection to understand our own role in attracting fake friends or ignoring red flags. It prompts us to examine our intentions and actions, ensuring that we approach friendships with sincerity and integrity. By developing self-awareness, we can cultivate discernment and make wiser choices in selecting our companions. The betrayal of trust by fake friends is a painful experience that can shake the very foundation of our relationships. Buddhism provides guidance on how to navigate these challenges by emphasizing the importance of trust, forgiveness, and self-reflection. By learning from these experiences, we can cultivate genuine friendships based on mutual trust, respect, and support. Remember, true friends are those who stand by us through thick and thin, upholding the principles of trust and loyalty that are at the core of meaningful connections. Step 2. Jealousy and Envy Fake friends often feel jealous of your success and achievements. In Buddhism, jealousy and envy are seen as destructive emotions that stem from attachment and ignorance. Genuine friends celebrate our accomplishments and support our growth. However, fake friends may harbor resentment and undermine our achievements. Understanding the roots of jealousy and cultivating compassion can help us overcome these negative emotions and foster authentic connections. Jealousy and envy are destructive emotions that can poison friendships. In the context of friendships, fake friends often harbor these negative feelings towards our success and achievements. Understanding the roots of jealousy and envy, as taught in Buddhism, 
can help us navigate these challenges and cultivate genuine connections. In Buddhism, jealousy and envy are seen as manifestations of attachment and ignorance. When we become attached to the idea of success or compare ourselves to others, we create fertile ground for these negative emotions to take root. Fake friends, driven by their own insecurities, may feel threatened by our accomplishments and seek to undermine or belittle them. Genuine friends, on the other hand, celebrate our successes and support our growth without feeling threatened or envious. They understand that true happiness comes from within and that our achievements do not diminish their own worth. Genuine friends inspire us to reach our full potential and encourage us to pursue our dreams. To overcome jealousy and envy, Buddhism teaches us to cultivate compassion and practice non-attachment. By developing a deep sense of empathy for others, we can rejoice in their successes instead of feeling envious. Genuine friends genuinely share in our joy, knowing that our achievements contribute to the greater good. Practicing non-attachment involves recognizing the impermanence of worldly possessions and accomplishments. Buddhism teaches us that true happiness does not come from external achievements, but from cultivating inner peace and contentment. By letting go of the need for validation through material or external success, we can free ourselves from the grip of jealousy and envy. When faced with fake friends who exhibit jealousy and envy, it is important to approach the situation with understanding and compassion. Recognize that their negative emotions stem from their own insecurities and fears. Rather than engaging in a cycle of comparison or retaliation, we can choose to respond with kindness and empathy. In cultivating genuine friendships, it is crucial to surround ourselves with individuals who genuinely support our growth and success. Fake friends who harbor jealousy and envy may hinder our progress and drain our energy. By discerning their true intentions, we can make choices that align with our well-being and spiritual development. Jealousy and envy are detrimental emotions that can poison friendships. Buddhism teaches us to cultivate compassion, practice non-attachment, and surround ourselves with genuine friends who celebrate our success. By understanding the roots of these negative emotions and applying Buddhist teachings, we can foster authentic connections based on mutual support and growth. Step 3. Conditional Support Fake friends offer support with conditions attached. In Buddhism, unconditional love and support are emphasized as essential qualities of true friendship. Fake friends may only be present when it benefits them or when they need something from us. By recognizing the importance of unconditional support, we can surround ourselves with friends who genuinely care for our well-being. Support is a vital aspect of any genuine friendship. True friends offer unwavering support, standing by our side through thick and thin. However, fake friends often provide support with conditions attached. They offer their assistance and presence only when it benefits them or when they need something in return. This conditional support can be detrimental to our well-being and hinder our spiritual growth. In Buddhism, the concept of unconditional love and support is emphasized. Genuine friends offer their support without expecting anything in return. They stand by us during both joyful and challenging times, providing a safe space for us to express ourselves and seek guidance. Their support is not contingent upon personal gain or self-interest. Fake friends, on the other hand, are quick to withdraw their support when it no longer serves their needs. They may be present during times of success or happiness, but become distant or unavailable when we face difficulties or setbacks. Their support is transactional, driven by personal gain rather than genuine care. Recognizing the signs of conditional support is crucial in cultivating authentic friendships. We can observe whether our friends are consistently there for us regardless of the circumstances. Genuine friends listen attentively, offer advice without judgment, and provide a shoulder to lean on when needed. Buddhism teaches us the importance of cultivating selflessness and compassion in our relationships. By practicing loving-kindness and empathy, we can develop genuine connections based on mutual care and support. Genuine friends extend their support without expecting anything in return, fostering an environment of trust and understanding. To avoid falling into the trap of conditional support, 
We must also examine our own intentions and actions in friendships. Are we offering our support sincerely, or do we have ulterior motives? By cultivating self-awareness and integrity, we can ensure that our friendships are founded on genuine care rather than personal gain. When faced with fake friends who provide conditional support, it is essential to set healthy boundaries and prioritize our well-being. We deserve friendships that uplift us and provide consistent support, free from manipulation or self-interest. By surrounding ourselves with genuine friends who offer unconditional support, we create an environment conducive to personal growth and spiritual development. Conditional support is a hallmark of fake friendships. Buddhism teaches us the value of unconditional love and support, highlighting the importance of genuine care in our relationships. By recognizing the signs of conditional support and cultivating selflessness, we can foster authentic friendships that nurture our well-being and spiritual journey. Step 4. Manipulation Fake friends manipulate situations to their advantage. In Buddhism, the concept of right speech and right action is emphasized. Fake friends may use manipulation tactics to control us or exploit our vulnerabilities. By cultivating mindfulness and discernment, we can recognize these manipulative behaviors and choose to surround ourselves with friends who respect our autonomy and practice ethical conduct. Manipulation is a tactic often employed by fake friends to control or exploit us. It can take many forms, from subtle hints to outright coercion. In Buddhism, the concept of right speech and right action is emphasized and manipulation goes against these ethical principles. Genuine friends respect our autonomy and practice ethical conduct, while fake friends may use manipulation tactics to further their own agenda. Manipulation can be challenging to identify, as it often masquerades as concern or care. Fake friends may use guilt, flattery, or fear to influence our decisions or actions. They may make us feel responsible for their emotions or use our vulnerabilities against us. These manipulative behaviors can leave us feeling confused, anxious, or resentful. Buddhism teaches us to cultivate mindfulness and discernment in our relationships. By paying attention to our own emotions and thoughts, we can recognize when we are being manipulated and respond with clarity and compassion. Genuine friends communicate honestly and respectfully without resorting to manipulation tactics. To overcome manipulation, Buddhism teaches us to practice non-attachment and self-reflection. By recognizing the impermanence of external factors, such as the approval or validation of others, we can free ourselves from the grip of manipulation. Self-reflection involves examining our own intentions and actions in relationships, ensuring that we approach them with sincerity and integrity. When faced with manipulative behavior from fake friends, it is essential to set healthy boundaries and communicate assertively. By standing firm in our values and beliefs, we can avoid being swayed by manipulative tactics. In cultivating genuine friendships, it is crucial to surround ourselves with individuals who respect our autonomy and practice ethical conduct. Fake friends who manipulate us may hinder our spiritual growth and drain our energy. By discerning their true intentions and practicing mindfulness and compassion, we can make choices that align with our well-being and spiritual development. Manipulation is a harmful tactic often employed by fake friends. Buddhism teaches us to cultivate mindfulness, discernment, and ethical conduct in our relationships. By recognizing the signs of manipulation and setting healthy boundaries, we can avoid being swayed by manipulative tactics and foster authentic connections based on mutual respect and care. Step 5. Lack of Empathy Fake friends lack empathy and fail to understand our emotions and struggles. In Buddhism, compassion is regarded as a cornerstone of spiritual growth. Genuine friends empathize with our joys and sorrows offering a listening ear and supportive presence. However, fake friends may dismiss our feelings or lack the ability to connect on an emotional level. By cultivating empathy within ourselves, we can foster meaningful connections based on understanding and kindness. Empathy is a critical component of genuine friendships. It involves the ability to understand and share the feelings of others, demonstrating care and compassion. However, Fake friends often lack empathy, 
prioritizing their own needs and emotions over those of others. This lack of empathy can be detrimental to our well-being and hinder our spiritual growth. In Buddhism, the concept of compassion is emphasized, involving the ability to empathize with others and alleviate their suffering. Genuine friends embody this quality, demonstrating care and concern for our well-being. They listen attentively, offer comfort and support, and validate our feelings without judgment. Fake friends, on the other hand, may lack empathy, dismissing or minimizing our emotions. They may be quick to offer unsolicited advice or criticism without taking the time to understand our perspective. Their lack of empathy can leave us feeling invalidated or unsupported, hindering our ability to process and heal from challenging experiences. To overcome a lack of empathy in friendships, Buddhism teaches us to cultivate compassion and practice active listening. By developing a deep sense of empathy for others, we can understand their perspective and offer support without judgment. Active listening involves giving our full attention to others without interrupting or offering unsolicited advice. When faced with fake friends who lack empathy, it is essential to communicate assertively and set healthy boundaries. We can express our needs and feelings clearly while also respecting the autonomy of others. By surrounding ourselves with genuine friends who demonstrate empathy and compassion, we create an environment conducive to personal growth and spiritual development. Chapter 6. One-Sided Relationships Relationships with fake friends are often one-sided, with an unequal balance of give and take. In Buddhism, the principle of interconnectedness teaches us the importance of mutual respect and reciprocity in relationships. Fake friends may constantly demand our time, energy, or resources without offering anything in return. By establishing healthy boundaries and seeking friendships based on mutual care and support, we can cultivate balanced relationships that nourish our spiritual well-being. Healthy friendships involve mutual care and support, with both parties contributing to the relationship. However, fake friends often create one-sided relationships where they receive all the benefits while offering little or nothing in return. This dynamic can be harmful to our well-being and hinder our spiritual growth. In Buddhism, the concept of interdependence is emphasized, highlighting the interconnectedness of all beings. Genuine friends recognize the importance of mutual care and support, understanding that our well-being is intertwined. They offer their time, energy, and resources without expecting anything in return, fostering an environment of trust and understanding. Fake friends, on the other hand, may create one-sided relationships where they prioritize their own needs and desires over those of others. They may be quick to ask for favors or support without offering anything in return. This dynamic can leave us feeling drained or used, hindering our ability to cultivate genuine connections. To overcome one-sided relationships, Buddhism teaches us to cultivate self-awareness and practice assertiveness. By recognizing our own worth and setting healthy boundaries, we can avoid falling into the trap of fake friendships that prioritize personal gain over mutual care. Assertiveness involves expressing our needs and feelings clearly while also respecting the autonomy of others. When faced with one-sided relationships from fake friends, it is essential to communicate assertively and set healthy boundaries. By surrounding ourselves with genuine friends who demonstrate mutual care and support, we create an environment conducive to personal growth and spiritual development. Step 7. Inconsistent Behavior Fake friends exhibit inconsistent behavior, making it difficult to trust their intentions. In Buddhism, the practice of mindfulness encourages us to observe the impermanence of all things. Fake friends may display erratic behavior, shifting their attitudes and loyalties unpredictably. By embracing impermanence and cultivating discernment, we can recognize the patterns of inconsistency and surround ourselves with friends who embody stability, authenticity, and reliability. Consistency is a crucial aspect of genuine friendships, involving reliability, trustworthiness, and the ability to maintain a stable and predictable demeanor. However, fake friends often exhibit inconsistent behavior, making it challenging to rely on them or build trust. This inconsistency can be detrimental to our well-being and hinder our spiritual growth. 
In Buddhism, the concept of ethical conduct is emphasized, involving acting in alignment with our values and principles. Genuine friends strive to be consistent in their words and actions, demonstrating integrity and reliability. They are dependable, and their behavior aligns with their professed values. Fake friends, on the other hand, may display inconsistent behavior, making it difficult to predict how they will act or respond in different situations. This inconsistency can leave us feeling confused, uncertain, and unable to trust their intentions. To navigate inconsistent behavior in friendships, Buddhism teaches us to cultivate discernment and practice self-reflection. By paying attention to patterns of behavior and examining our own reactions, we can discern whether a friend's inconsistency is a temporary lapse or a consistent pattern. Self-reflection involves examining our own intentions and actions in relationships, ensuring that we approach them with sincerity and integrity. When faced with inconsistent behavior from fake friends, it is essential to set healthy boundaries and communicate assertively. We can express our concerns and expectations clearly while also respecting the autonomy of others. By surrounding ourselves with genuine friends who demonstrate consistency and reliability, we create an environment conducive to personal growth and spiritual development. By delving into the spiritual teachings of Buddhism, we have explored the seven things that only fake friends do. Understanding these behaviors equips us with the wisdom to identify fake friends and nurture genuine connections. Through mindfulness, compassion, and ethical conduct, we can cultivate friendships that uplift our spirits and support our spiritual growth. May these teachings inspire us to build meaningful relationships founded on trust, empathy, and authenticity.